Hello, BookTube. So today I'm going to be doing a tag video, the in or out tag. And I was tagged by Boozy Bookish Thoughts, um, uh, who is a relatively new booktuber, who I met uh, in one of um, MJ re reading this life's um, live stream events. And but before I begin the tag itself, let me just quickly address the elephant <clears throat> in the room. That being my hiatus. Now, I am still on a hiatus, but one of the three problems that prompted me to start my hiatus has been rectified, and that is the linking glitch. Uh, but it's not the most important problem to face, which is the, uh, the lap my laptop being fixed so that I can upload properly edited videos. So I thought, let's make a compromise and upload two videos, which is the two tag videos I was tagged in. Now, or, now originally I was going to do both of them, but the other one, uh, this is the easier tag, by the way. The other one would work much better if I had proper editing, like... Uh, like uh, e scary music or uh, lighting or wearing a costume or something, then that would add to the effect of the video. Uh, and you know who you are, by the way. <laughs> you know who you are. Uh, the person who did that other tag, who tagged me in the other one. Anyway, this, so again, this is the easier tag, the in or out tag. Now, this one has like, 25 prompts. I could just say in or out. I don't have to elaborate. But um, I can if I want to. And I will on some. So let's begin. Uh, prompt number one. Reading the last page first. In but with a qualifier. I read the last sentence of a book because I like to see the parting line of a book the parting sentence and then I don't get the full context of the last sentence if that makes sense so I read the last sentence of a book but not the last page uh, prompt number two enemies to lovers I like character evolution I re recently wrote an enemies to lovers narrative so uh, in I like character evolution uh, three, dream sequences. In, as long as they're not the entire book, so it's not a weird experimental book like someone on a drug trip, like, uh, um, what was that book? Naked Lunch, for instance. So, um, in, but only if it's like a few paragraphs, not the entire book. Uh, prompt number four, love triangles. Love triangles aren't really love triangles unless one member is a member of the LGBTQ plus community. Uh, are you going to be angry that I didn't add the IA in? So unless, unless one of them is uh, not just a straight man or a straight woman, at least one, then it's not really a love triangle. So I would say out. And... That's just petty drama, which I don't have time for. Problem number five, crack spines. I would say in because I've grown to accept them. Those are just a fact of life. I read a lot of paperback books and they crack as time goes on. And it also shows that the books have been given some love. They're not uh, in pristine, uh, unblemished books because that means nobody wants to read them. So, crack spines, I would say in, broken spines, out, where the pages are falling out and all of that, out. But, crack spines, in. Uh, prompt number six, back to my small town. I write a lot about my own, my own hometown, so when other, people's do, other people do it, uh, people who have an attachment to their hometown, yeah, in. Uh, seven, monsters are regular people. 
You mean like vampires and humans living side by side, or aliens and humans living side by side in peace and harmony? That's a little bit too surreal and bizarre for the page, for the pages as I read it. So I would say out. I'm not into Twilight, for example. I'm not into human-alien relationships. It translates better on the screen than it does on the page. So out. Uh, eight. No paragraph breaks. Out, out, out. I don't mind no chapter breaks. And I don't mind... Uh, yeah, yeah, no chapter breaks. But no paragraph breaks. Out. There has to be... There has to be some paragraph breaks so I can take a breather, so I can stop and get, gather my thoughts. If it's one long, uninterrupt, uninterrupted narrative like Dolores Claiborne, of, uh, uh, written by Stephen King, out. Uh, nine, multi-generational sagas. Uh, I really, really, really want to read uh, Cloud Atlas, so uh, in, in. Those things are interesting because it illustrates the bigger picture of a narrative. Uh, 10, uh, rereading. I read, uh, I've read, reread several books, uh, no more than three times. Some, most, mostly just two, but some three. So in. 11, artificial intelligence. The jury's out on this one because I haven't read a lot of science fiction novels with artificial intelligence in them. I don't know if I'll love it or, uh, uh or hate it. The jury's out. Twelve, drop caps. Oh, yeah, yeah, the fancy big letters um, in the beginnings of chapters. They make a book really classy and fancy. Sure, sure, in. Thirteen, happy endings. Yeah, they don't always have to be glum, uh, sad endings. They don't always have to be ambiguous. They don't always have to be cliffhangers. They can be happy endings, in. Fourteen, Plot points that only converge at the end. Um, in. No, no further comment. 15. Detailed magic systems. Magic is magic. You don't have to create a whole list of fictional rules. You don't have to justify why you're writing a book. So, out. Uh, with, the, with one exception, the Mist books... The Mist series, based on the Mist computer games, had a detailed uh, had a detailed magic system with the descriptive and linking books. That's the exception to the rule. I enjoyed those, um, but usually out. Sixteen classic fantasy races again, like monsters are regular people out. Uh, Orcs and elves and stuff, they work better on the screen, like in a video game or in a movie or a TV series, but I don't know if they'd work well on the page. So, out. Uh, 17. Unreliable narrators. Uh, it's an, I, I commend people who make such uh, books uh, because it's an interesting experimental uh, way of writing a book. You always want to broaden your horizons, right, with uh, your writing methods. But I don't want to second guess every, every single sentence I'm reading. So I would say out because it's just not for me. I like to be told the straight truth. I'm a, I don't like liars. 18. Evil protagonists. Villains and e and uh, anti-heroes are always much more interesting than white heroes, than white knights. So, um, in, in. Villains are more in, far more interesting. Um, 19, the chosen one. In politics, I am a Republican. And when I say Republican, I don't mean the United States political party. Um... It means I prefer my head of state as a non-royal. So this chosen one narrative is like you were born special. It's in your blood. Yeah. Out. Out. I don't like that. That has a lot of... Uh, that's romanticizing royalty. So out. 
19 at 20. When the protagonist dies. Sure. Some uh, some stories require uh, a lot of sacrifice to... Uh, I, I, I know, like, if stakes are so high they require sacrifice, it makes the story much more better, so a much more interesting read, and uh, makes keeps you hooked much longer because the stakes are so high. Yes, in, in. Uh, 21, really long chapters. Out, but I have to deal with them every day. We, uh, the books that I read, the political thrillers that I read, often have up to, like, 25-page chapters. They're really annoying. I have to deal with them, and I wish they weren't there. Uh, so out, but I still deal with them. I have to. Uh, Twenty-two French flaps. What are French flaps? I don't know what they, uh, those are. So the jury is out. Twenty-three deckled edges, like when the edges of a page are um, unevenly cut. Sure, it adds a little bit of character. It makes it's really nice to the touch with, on the fingertips. So uh, in, I like that. It also gives you the impression that uh, well, the book was uh, I don't know um, it, the rustic feel of the book. I like that. I actually I like that a lot. So uh, yeah, in. I don't know what's going on there. I have a really itchy nostril right now. Sorry about that. Uh, 24. Signed copies by the author. I don't go out hunting for signed copies, but in. Uh, because they might be collector's items in the future. So yeah, in. 25. Dog-earing pages. I don't like folding out my books, rolling out my book, my paperback book covers. So out, I don't like damaging my books. If I don't have access to a bookmark, I will find a piece of scrap paper or find some other substitute bookmark. I'm not going to dog ear my pages. I do not like damaging my books, <clears throat> even though when it comes to the cracked spines, it's inevitable. But if I can avoid damaging my books, I will avoid them. Avoid it. So out. Chapter 26, uh, sorry, chapter 26, I said chapter 26, prompt number 26, chapter titles instead of numbers. I like my chapters to be numbered, so if, they, if, the, if there's a title that comes with the number, I would prefer that, uh, or if it's just the number, I would also prefer that. So out, because I want to know how far along I'm progressing in my book. That's why the table of contents is always so important, because then it'll give you the page number of where an unnumbered chapter is. Uh, like, prologues, always throw, prologues and epilogues always throw me off. I really don't like that when they don't number every single chapter. So the prologues and epilogues, so let's say, like for example... The current book I'm reading, uh, Garden of Beasts by Jeffrey Deaver, has an unnumbered uh, epilogue. And that kind of threw me off. I said, the book says it has, the book has 43 chapters plus an epilogue. I'd count that as 44 chapters. So, uh, numbering your chapters, yes. Uh, so, out if, out, out. Because I want to know how far along I'm progressing in a book. And unnumbered prologues and epilogues throw me off. Okay, I, I repeated myself a little bit there. Okay, uh, that is the tag. Uh, I'm going to resume my hiatus now. Uh, have a nice day.